welcome to Excel magic trick number 1508. Hey, in this video, we got to see how to look up in the current table, either using Excel VLOOKUP, that formula right there, or Power Query Merge, that formula there. Now let's go over to the sheet 1508. Here's our table. It's an employee table. Here's the primary key, the name, the hire date, and referring ID means when we hired Kenny, were there any employees in the business that referred Kenny to the position? Well, in this case, there was 1488. That means Sue Rad Coolinator referred Kenny. And our goal is to simply look that number up and return the name. Well, in Excel, it's easy. And if our table really is in Excel and we just need an extra column, we're using VLOOKUP. If we're importing the data from some external source to put into a data model, then we want to see how to use Power Query. All right, so we're going to use the VLOOKUP equals VL tab. Lookup value, I'm going to look up the referring ID as a relative cell reference comma, the table. And this is beautiful in Excel. We can just highlight part of the table. There it is. First column has the value we will match. Second column has the item we want to return. Now I want to hit the F4 key to lock that, comma, column number index. In the lookup table, which column, one or two, has the thing I want to go and get? It's two, so I type a two, comma, if that first column was always sorted from smallest to biggest, we could use approximate match the default, but it's not. This table is usually sorted by the higher date. So in this case, we want to use exact match. I'm putting a zero. You can put false if you want. Close parentheses, Control Enter, and double click and send it down. Now I'm going to go to the last cell and hit F2 to verify that the cell references are pointing to the right place. Now, what are we going to do about the NAs? F2. Well, we have some choices here. We absolutely could use if error or 2013 or later, we could use if NA. The problem with both of those functions is both of those functions have to run VLOOKUP every time to determine if there's an error. If you have a large workbook with lots of VLOOKUPs, you know that slows things down. So if there is an alternative logical test besides actually running the formula, we can use the IF function with that alternative logical test, and the formula will be more efficient. Now, the alternative logical test, of course, is, is the cell empty? And the function for that is misname. It should be named is empty, but they named it is blank. Is blank will check if the cell is empty. Close parentheses, comma. Now our logical test, if it is empty, then what do we want? Click right there. We want to show nothing, and we do that with double quote, double quote. That is a zero length text string, comma. Otherwise, if the cell has something, we'll run VLOOKUP. Close parentheses. This formula, of course, assumes if we're checking empty that all the numbers will be correct. If we potentially had numbers that weren't correct, then if and A would be perfect. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Go to the last cell and hit F2. Everything is looking good. So in Excel, it's quick and easy. We use a formula similar to this with VLOOKUP, and we instantly have the referring person's name. Now, if we have the data coming from an external source, and we need to transform that into the proper table like this one here and dump it in the data model, we can use Power Query. Now I'm using Office 365, so Data tab. There's Get and Transform and Queries and Connection. In Office 2016, Get and Transform is on the right. Earlier versions, you actually had to download Power Query as an add-in. Now one of the files you can download is this table as a text file. So we're going to click on Get Data from File from Text. In the Import Data dialog box, I'm going to click on the Desktop because there's our file. Double click. 
it wants to make sure file origin, the delimiter, and it's going to base it on the first 200 rows. Well, there's only a few. All right, I'm going to transform the data. If you were in Power BI Desktop, this would say Edit. I'm going to click Transform. First thing I'm going to do is come over and name this, something like D Employee Table. These three steps are fine. Now, remember, we need to have a lookup column and look up the number and find it over here and get a match. Well, I don't know of a custom column function that I could use to do that. But we can join this table to itself. The result will give us an extra column that looks up the name. Now, before I can go and get the Merge button, I better hit Enter over here. Home Ribbon tab, Combine. Let's go to Merge Queries. It wants to know what the first table is and the lookup column. For us in Excel, this would be a lookup value. In databasing SQL and here in Power Query, that's just one of the sides in our join. Now look at this. We're totally allowed to connect to the current table. So in essence, what we're doing is we're joining the table to itself. Now I click Employee ID. The join kind is going to be left outer because we definitely want to keep all rows, and we only want to go and get the matching record from this table over here when it finds one. Now we click OK. And look at that. It gives us a table. Now for that null, it's not returning anything. Down here, if I click off to the side, I can see, sure enough, it gives me that matching record. Now we only want name column, so we come up to the Expand button. Click, uncheck Use Original Column, uncheck everything, and all we want is name. Click OK. And there we have used Merge to do a left outer join, joining the table to itself. Now we could load it like this, but perhaps we want a particular sort order. So I'm going to click the drop down and click Sort Ascending. And there we have exactly what we want. Now close and load, close and load to. There's our Import Data dialog box. Now for us, we are going to load it to Excel. So I'm going to say Table on the existing sheet, Collapse button. I'm going to put it in I4, Uncollapse, click OK. And there we have looked up the proper referring ID name using a join same table to same table. Now, look at that. I forgot to name it. Double click. Come back and edit. Double click. Something like referral name and enter. Now I can simply click close and load because it's already been loaded. All right, so in this video, we had to look up a referring ID and get a name from the exact same table where the helper column was. We saw how to do it with VLOOKUP. And we saw how to do it coming back and clicking the gear icon. How to do it with the merge, same table, same table. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video. Thank you.